Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out on the water. This morning we are fishing the new TT Switch Prawn Plus. So we're going to talk to you a bit about the range, the colours and how we fish this deadly metal vibration blade to get stuck into a few different species. Fish on. On. Beautiful on that. Eight gram in the disco prawn. Doesn't feel like a big fish, but it's pinned on those little owner black nickel chemically sharpened hooks. Just a little tiny fella, but yeah, these guys they, they love eating these blades just pulsed off the bottom. So that was just we've moved in, we're mixing the retrieves up early, so that was just on a you know a couple of little pulses up off the bottom and then felt that tap, fish ate it. Good times. All right, just a little guy to kick things off on the disco prawn, um, a color that I've had success on in the early days of fishing the Switch Prawn Plus. Nice glow on there with that sort of holographic-y looking color on that one there. So basically I was just flicking into a weed edge for that guy, only a little guy, but, but a, a start to the session. And that was just on a couple of pulses up off the bottom and then a pause. So get that blade pulsing up, allow it to flutter back down to the bottom and we're just bouncing it up, up and down off the bottom through here. Uh, very versatile lure, you can retrieve it in a lot of different ways and we'll talk more about those retrieves throughout this session. He's fired up that guy. So that's just, this uh, Switch Prawn Plus is an excellent lure for covering ground, like just covering water. We're scoping just a large area here so we can throw big long casts with the weight of that Switch Prawn and it allows us to cover water. So, oh, that's good. He's throwing those little hooks out once he's in there, but that, yeah, it's a nice little legal flatty on that disco prawn color. Just hopped across a sandy and sort of rubble and weedy bottom. Really, really good searching lure, searching presentation. Like this is not a great tide. This isn't the tide we like to really fish for flatties and that sort of thing. The water's rising up over the flats, but it's a really good searching tool for covering ground. So. That's pretty cool. We got that little guy to kick things off. And now we've got ourselves a, a legal flatty. We'll send him back in as well. Right over there you go, buddy. He's away. Beautiful. All right, with the weight of this Switch Prawn Plus making it a great searching tool, we're basically fanning cast as we move across this big flat area here. So by fanning cast, it's like when you open a fan, basically. So we're throwing them in that same sort of shape as a, as a fan. We're covering that big area there. Instead of just throwing the same spot over and over again, by covering water, I've got more chance of finding fish and maybe finding a patch of fish. So I might throw, here we've got the current coming towards us. We're on spot lock. You could be drifting with the current and just fishing ahead of yourself, but you want to cover plenty of water. So I'll throw ahead of the, the boat, I'll throw out each side and we'll just cover plenty of water to see if we can find a fish. And then retrieve wise, the cool thing about this Switch Prawn Plus is it responds to a bunch of different retrieves. So if some people say to me, how do I fish a blade? Well, if you're not sure where to start, just fish it like a soft plastic. So some people like that one long lift and drop, and you'll feel that Switch Prawn vibrate on the lift and then you just pause it, flutters back to the bottom. A lot of the time the tap will come at the start of the lift or on the pause when you drop that down. You can also fish it with a hop hop, same as you do a soft plastic, and you'll feel the blade pulse, pulse, and then drop on the pause. Otherwise you can slow roll it. So you can just roll it and you'll feel it vibrating like the paddle tail plastic or a hard body or something. You'll feel that vibe working, that um, blade working as you wind it. So slow roll, hopping, lift and pause, all those retrieves, burn and kill, you can give it a fast wind, which is the burn, and a kill, which is the pause but you can mix it up until you find what the fish want on the day. Today, we've pretty much just been using a lift and a pause or a couple of quick lifts and a pause. Those quick lifts put out a lot of vibration, a lot of flash off that, that blade as well and draw the fish in for an aggressive strike. Oh, yep, there we go, there's a tap. Oh, gone for the color change and got the bite. 
You might be able to see here with the, the sun on the water, we've hit an area where it's, it's predominantly weed, weed edge, and we've got a couple of big sand pockets, and that's perfect for when you're targeting a flathead. Pull them out from in amongst those sand pockets. It's a nice brim. I've often caught brim up in these sand patches as the tide comes up as well, but that's a decent brim. He's taken a liking to the yabby colour, so I think this yabby colour is going to be pretty deadly, especially fished over the, the sandy patches and areas where yabbies hold, but that's, that's a nice brim. Have a look at that guy. He's grabbed those little assist hooks. <laughs> that's the cool thing about these little owner black nickel chemically sharpened assist hooks. Fish swims near them, they get hooked. So that's, you know, it's a decent, decent little brim from in the estuary, throwing up over, you know, there's hardly any water there, half a metre of water. That's that yabby colour. You can see the, the nice pearl with those orange highlights on there, and those orange highlights are UV, like a lot of the highlights on these Switch Prawn Plus blades. And he's pinned right in the lip there, as is so often the case when you're, you're fishing these little assist hooks. So I'll grab a hold of him and we'll get him off, but have a look at that. That's a nice handful of brim. There we go, that's that eight gram in the yabby. That's a nice chunk of brim. Send him back on his way, see you buddy. Yeah, that's a good brim up in the shallows, caught on that guy there. Don't forget your TT pliers when you're fishing these guys as well. With two little assist hooks in there, you don't want to be trying to get one out and the other one ends up in you. So grab your pliers and, and sort those hooks out when you do catch a fish. You can see their beautiful profile, prawny looking profile in the water. It's very prawny, bait fishy with that vibration in the water. And these little tassels and the hooks out the back provide more movement like, a, like prawn legs or whiskers or, or fish tail or that sort of thing. Attract fish to there and they love all this movement so that's where they strike right on the edge of that weed. So that was a nice brim that we just pulled out of this area here. So we're gonna put the drone up and just show you what we're fishing and, and why we're fishing this sort of area here that we are, and also why we changed the yabby color. So basically it's a, a big weed bank, a lot of weed, and we're working our way up into these sand patches. And these patches of sand that you'll see from the drone hold a lot of fish. You know, they're out of the water at low tide, so when the tide comes in, all the bait and everything will come out across the sand looking for a feed, and then up come the predators, flathead, brim, all sorts of species, trevally, and that will come up and feed over that sand. And that's why this, this lure is so good for this sort of fishing as well. It's a great searching lure. It puts out a lot of vibration. It draws fish to the, the Switch Prawn Plus, and it's also great for covering water. So we can come in here quickly, and, and we might only have a short window of time where we've got enough water to fish this area. So yeah, we can fish this guy nice and finesse and really slow, but we can also power fish him over these flats and fish fast, cover water, use that vibration to attract fish and cover an area very, very quickly with the Switch Prawn Plus. So that's what we're doing today. The water's getting up over here. We're gonna get up here. We're gonna punch our way over this sand. Then we're gonna pull back and fish a bit of a deeper edge. fish on. Change things up to the Onyx Tiger, fishing up into this little bit of a drain area here. Only another little fella. Getting the little bite guys biting today. <laughs> there you go, just another little bloke. They love the vibration of that lure though, so that's the Onyx Tiger colour. Three sizes in the Switch Prawn Plus. Today we're throwing the 8 gram the 44 mil, which is perfect for this style of fishing, where we're just picking drains and edges and drop-offs and that sort of thing. So that 44 mil, eight gram is a good size. There's a 5.5 gram, which is perfect for chasing brim and other species and that over the weed. And then there's a 13 gram, the largest size, and that's perfect for fishing deep schooled fish, um, deeper edges, flow, deep schooled bass. This eight gram is a great all round size if you wanna have a crack at catching a bass in the fresh or you know, fishing the salt for species like a flatty. This is only a little guy, but 
we're going to catch his big brother. That didn't take too long. Two casts later. This one feels a little bit more solid than that last one. He's cranky too. Love that drag on that same RHD. That drag sound is beautiful. Whoa, come here, buddy. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a better fish. That's a better fish. Pinned on those owner assist hooks. Look at that guy in the water. That's an epic fish. Beautiful. There we go. That's the one we're chasing. That's that switch prawn plus from TT. <clears throat> Switched the colors up a little bit today. Got a bunch of smaller guys and now we've finished with that nice flatty. One assist in the net there and one in his mouth, so. All right, there we go. That's a nice one there. That one will be up in the 50s. Good condition, flatty, beautiful fish. Changed to that darker colour in the switch prawn. Got that bite, fishing, fishing a drain here, draining out. Running water, current flow. They're just sitting in there, they're waiting for those lures to come back, waiting for the bait to come down current to them. That little switch prawn plus bounced down with the flow. This guy opened his gob and nailed it. So that's the eight gram, the middle size of the blades. And that's the one we've focused on today because that's perfect for the environment that we're fishing. We're fishing a bit of flow, we're fishing edges and drop offs. So that eight gram gives us enough weight for a long cast. Get that blade down there on the bottom where the flathead are that we're chasing today. So, oh, come on mate, settle down. We'll, we'll pop this out. And there we go, that's that darker colour. You can see there, orange UV highlights on there, UVI. And even in these, these owner assists there, we've got those little feelers as well for extra movement. And they're also UV as well to attract, attract the fish and, and get the bite. And that's a nice chunk of floaty, that one. Good one in the 50s. Oh, fired up. Let me get a grip on you. There you go. Doesn't play the car. Let me get a hold of you. There we go. So there you go, that's our 50 plus centimetre floody on that TT switch prawn metal vibration laid. Throws out plenty of vibration, attracts these fish to the lure and triggers those strikes. Oh, that nightmare colour, that nightmare colour has been an absolute winner today. This is a better fish on that two to four kilo TT Rods Red Belly, same RHD 2500, just got eight pound braid on there, but we've got 15 pound litre because this is the one we were flicking around for bigger flatties and we've got this fish right up on the edge there. Saw some mullet getting chased out of the drain. Something was pushing the mullet out and it was this guy here, I reckon, chasing the mullet school. This is a nice flatty. That's on that nightmare color in the eight gram. The middle size in that switch prawn. That's been the one we've been fishing today and it's come through with the goods. This is a nice fish. Just get a little bit more line on him. Have a look at that guy. That's a cracker fish. On the switch prawn. Oh, 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 oh. Come on, mate. They don't like the boat, these guys. Coming back around. Come on, come on, come on, come on. In you come. In you come. He's not happy. In the net. There we go. Have a look at that fish. That is an absolute cracker. That's the one we wanted. TT switch prawn, getting the bite. That guy's a 60 for sure, that is a cracker fish. Have a look at that thing, that is beautiful. Nightmare color, eight gram. We'll get the lip grips on that one. One in the mouth here. One hooked up underneath here. Just gonna have to pop that one out. And we're free, I think. One in the lip and one in the chin. And that is a real nice, oh, real nice flatty on that switch prawn. There you go, folks. That is a nice 60 plus centimeter flatty. 
that was on that nightmare color in the eight gram in that TT Switch Prawn Plus. Water session on the water, bit of a grind today with the wind and a bit of dirty water, but we got a few smaller ones, got onto that one in the 50s and then a nice 60 to finish off. So TT Switch Prawn, make sure you check it out, ttfishing.com, buckle up.